Arts. Today, a new phase of growth for local colleges. Both Evangel and Drury University celebrating progress in their campuses. And this, in this case, progress means new construction, a goal of not only investing in students, but also the city of Springfield. Color 10 Sydney Moran is live outside Drury's newest building, explaining its purpose. Bailey and Steve, the O'Reilly Breach in Thompson Center is home to five academic departments. Now, like you guys said, the goal is to not only serve students, but also Springfield families, something Evangel is working towards, too. Friday marked a celebration for both Drury Andy and Evangel Rob University. It is incredible the support for this university. This opens a new phase of growth and opportunity for Evangel that she's not seen in quite some time. Two buildings, one in the initial phase of construction. Now we are physically planting the university of the future. And another finally finished. And if you walk around this building, what you'll see is there are collaborative spaces everywhere. The whole, the whole flavor of this building is to, to pull our students in, but to pull the community in. The $27 million O'Reilly, Breach and Thompson Center is Drury University's first new educational building in 20 years. But the building also serves non-students. We have built the Thompson Executive Conference Center for Springfield, another place for organizations in Springfield to gather and meet and think about how to advance this community. For Evangel University, being able to advance the community starts on campus. This building is going to significantly impact your God-ordained work with the next generation of leaders. Evangel has raised over $30 million this year to build not only a new sports complex and a turf field, but other projects. You can imagine not only the uh, opportunity for high schools and middle schools to be able to come and watch college athletics and kind of experience that. It's providing jobs. Uh, the economic benefits are going to last for years and years. And it's great to see the community coming together. Students will be able to start taking classes here at the OBT Center in January. Reporting in Springfield, Sydney Moran, Ozarks First.